What's up guys? I am so sorry that I wasn't able to finish this on Christmas. I was, but I think you guys understand. I was so busy and I was just spending time with family, which I think a lot of you guys were doing anyways. So yeah, that's why I wasn't able to finish it. So it's kind of anticlimactic, climactic, um, that, that I'm doing this after Christmas, but whatever, you know, it's, uh, this is pretty much a topic that I could talk about whatever. So let's continue with some of these questions. This is day two, uh, or it's supposed to be day two. Uh, so day one, I'm going to talk about my Christmas. Uh, so I'm going to try to answer all these questions, uh, that I have here before I do day one. Okay. <laughs> Joe Gamer Dude 84 says, "Do you watch the show Supernatural? Not anymore. I used to. I used to love that show so much until it hit like season 5. You know where it got like really goofy and sometimes I was, like the one where they were like in TV, I was like, "No." Ugh. It was just it was a shame because that show was so good. I loved that show. Um so no. Uh, I stopped watching it and I haven't gone back to it. I've ha I've had my curiosities because I loved it so much, but I don't know. Uh, Dave Incognito says, "This being the Christmas season and all, do you uh, view Ebenezer Scrooge at the end of A Christmas Carol as a reformed man who has seen the error of his ways, or as a man driven insane by his ordeal?" I th I think he's a reformed man because when people are faced. Um, with death or near death where they have like near death experiences usually they do change um, sometimes they don't but I know of people that have been in near death situations and they do change the their ways especially if they were living a way that that was not very good so I think he was a reformed man R.L. Chill says between the Kuhn and the Justicar Code which do you think is the most strict uh, which code would you want to live by? <sighs> the most strict, I think, I think the Justicar code, I had trouble thinking about this because the Kuhn is pretty strict, but I think the Justicar code is more strict because you have to give up almost everything in the Justicar code. Um, and I wouldn't be able to do that. So I think I'd probably be, in the Justicar code, I think it's more, you're more of an individual but an individual with, like, no background, like nothing. Um, or a background, but you really don't, you can't really use it for anything. You know what I mean? Like, you can't really express it in any way. Um, it's kind of like you're a blank slate, and you have to remain that way. Uh, with the Kuhn, you're more of a, a, like, a part of a group, like, part of the nature that you all form as a Kuhn. So I think that would probably be a little bit more easy for me. Um, but it's, even then, like, the, it's still, the, the Kunari have, like, they, they believe in, like, nature, the nature of a person, and that you have to do that for the, for the, 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 the Kuhn. So I think it would be really hard for me, but I think I would probably, it would probably be easier for me to follow the Qun than the Justicar code. Um, Simona Petrovic says, MD, if you could choose any Mass Effect characters to return in, new, in the new Mass Effect series, who would it be? You can choose two. <sighs> probably... If any of the old uh, Mass Effect characters return in the new Mass Effect, I wouldn't want to see them as, like, main characters. I would want to see them maybe, like, cameos. So I'm thinking... I mean, the only ones that really could are the ones that live longest. So I'm thinking maybe... I'd like to see Rex um, and maybe Liara. Um, probably those two. Uh, I think Liara makes sense. Like, you could... You could bump into her as being like this like wise Asari or like this Asari scientist that that people seek out um for information or something like that um so maybe Liara and Rex but again I wouldn't want to see them as main characters um Stevio 25 uh says or, or Stevio 
Two questions. Since Bioware has said that they will continue to make Dragon Age games after Inquisition, would you like to see future games allow you to import your character like in Mass Effect, or would you prefer to have a new character and story each time? Also, have you ever read or heard of the Dragonlance book series? For the Dragon Age thing, I I kind of prefer new stories. I prefer new characters. I mean, um, I think if you if you include new characters each time, you kind of have a little bit of more leeway, uh, especially with the developer. They have more leeway in not having to completely uh, import everything, all the choices that were done previously. Like, uh, I know for a fact... Um, Bioware has said it, that it was really hard for them to transfer all of those choices, everything that was done in the previous Mass Effect for Mass Effect 3. So you could bump into some mistakes here and there. So I prefer, I kind of prefer like new characters, um, but I like the story to have some kind of correlation because even though Dragon Age has new characters and new storylines, they're all kind of correlated. Like, they all correlate the stories and what happened in the world and all that. So there is a sense of import, of, of importing the world that you did. So the choices do matter, but it's a new story. It's a new character. So you're kind of forming the world as you go on, um, like forming the history. And I, I, I like that better. Um the Dragonlance book series, I have heard of it, but I, I actually, I think I have the first book of it, but I haven't read it. I want to because I've heard really good things about it. Um, the fantasy, it says, if not, uh, what are some of your favorite book series with the fantasy setting? My favorite books, books, well, my favorite of all time book, seri book series are like older ones. I don't, I, I read a lot of old stuff. I don't read like very current stuff. So like Lord of the Rings, um, I think the prob probably the most current thing that I read that's fantasy is Game of Thrones. So Game of Thrones, and my favorite of uh, of all time is Beowulf. I love I love that story so much. Um, so by far Beowulf. Um, you can't. Yeah, this isn't really considered fantasy, but I it's kind of very similar. Is the myth the my mythology? Everything about mythology I absolutely love. So all of the mythology, the old school mythology uh, short stories and like um, even like stuff by Homer and stuff like that. The big, some of the big like Odysseys and stuff like that or like epic tales. Uh, those are also really, I, I, I'm fascinated by that stuff. Um, I'm out of breath because yesterday I had somewhat of a, a minor asthma attack. So, um, if you see me out of breath, that's, that's why. Uh, Alex Uncled says, what characters from DAO and DA2 do you think will show in DAI? I, th well, obviously Varric, um, Cassandra, uh, Liliana, that's like almost a given. Um, oh, Morrigan, that, that's for sure. Flemeth. Cullen, um, I don't know about Alistair, I think maybe Alistair, um, I think Alistair is a possibility, um, I'm thinking Meryl, because we are going to deal with the Dalish, so maybe Meryl, um, Sten, I hope, I hope we bump into Sten because Sten is the new Arashok in the comics. So I'm, I have a feeling that Sten is going to return. I really hope so. Uh, maybe more, but those are the first ones that come to mind. Um, <clears throat> uh, Angel Warrior Twenty Eight says, "What made you into the gamer that you are now? And you consider? Oh, and do you consider yourself a spiritual per person?" Um, do I consider myself a spiritual person? Yes, I do. I'm not like extremely spiritual, but I do consider myself spiritual. But I also I'm also very um, respectful of other beliefs. So um, I think that's 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 a big a big issue that I I really feel strongly about is uh, to respect other people's beliefs. Um, and what made me the gamer that I am now? Uh, 
the first game that I played um, that was that I consider that I used to consider as being like hardcore games because I used to play mostly like Nintendo games um, was Mass Effect. Mass Effect was one of the first big games that I had ever played. Um, I mean, I had played a little bit of like Final Fantasy and stuff like that, but uh, nothing to the to the to the extent of how much I got in involved with Mass Effect. Um, so Mass Effect, I actually played the Halo multiplayer for that was one of the first uh, the Halo multiplayer. I think I played that before Mass Effect. I play on the computer actually with my brother. Um, so that that kind of introduced me into the world of like um, shooters and stuff like that. Um, so definitely playing Halo multiplayer, playing Mass Effect, and playing Gears of War because Gears of War was one of the first hardcore games that I really that I that I played co op that I enjoyed so much that I got hooked. Um, so Gears of War, Mass Effect, and Halo, Halo um, were like the introduction to the gamer that I am now. Um, but definitely everything that I played during like Nintendo, everything that I grew up with playing Nintendo, that also uh, con um, was a contribution to the gamer that I am now because it was really what made me fall in love with video games and made me fall in love with the type of storytelling and... Um, so yeah, like games like Zelda, um, even Harvest Moon. I mean, <laughs> Harvest Moon has stuck with me for years, and I I, I love it so much. Uh, no matter how old you are, you could always be a Harvest Mooner. <laughs> um, oh, I've said this before in the past. Um, when my dad passed away, I really got into gaming much more than I used to. Uh, because it was it was it would take my mind off things, so that also made me the gamer that I am now. Um, oh, RPE thirty three says, "What are your top five favorite TV shows of all time?" <sighs> um, I'm gonna name a few. Because I know I'm going to leave out a bunch of them. But I'm just going to name the ones that I absolutely adore. That I know that just like come to my mind. Um, firstly, X-Files. I was... I watched every episode of every season. And I absolutely loved the X-Files. I was a huge, huge fan. And I still am. Because I, I want to go back and watch them again. So definitely the X-Files. Seinfeld. I... Oh show is just too hilarious. Seinfeld, Kirby Enthusiasm. I love Larry David, so anything that he touches. Yeah. Kirby Enthusiasm. I, will, I have to include I Love Lucy. I grew up with I Love Lucy. I would come home, I remember at 3 o'clock p.m., and I'd just sit there and watch I Love Lucy. Um, what is that, 3? I think that was 3, right? Um... <clears throat> what else? I have to say, I mean, I don't know if this is including like cartoons, but I have to say, um, DuckTales. I, I love DuckTales. There's so many. Five, I have to choose five. So many cartoons, um, that I grew up with that are still in my heart, like DuckTales, where you watch, where you see it and you're just like, oh. I, I was, I, a lot of people like that I know grew up on like Spongebob and the, the, that era but I grew up on like Tiny Toons and uh, no I was older with Animaniacs already and Tiny Toons but like the old stuff like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, um, uh, Transformers, the old one, uh, Thundercats, the old one, all that stuff uh, so there's a lot but the main ones the, like the actual TV shows, uh, X-Files, um, I Love Lucy, uh, oh my god, it's gonna run out of time. Um, I'll continue this in the bonus.